Good morning, guys. So today is our first day back to homeschooling after winter break or Christmas break. Down, hear me. And we are just making some French toast. And I just wanted to show you what our typical day is like homeschooling. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. It may not be exactly the usual because it is our first day back. So we're starting a little late today. But anyway. Here's our breakfast. Mine, Briley's, and Reagan's. Um, Briley wanted applesauce instead of yogurt. But me and Reagan got yogurt. And I gave her some jello. She don't know, you know. Whatever, that's fine. French toast, eggs. We are eggs with ketchup kind of girls. Um, thanks to my Mimo. <laughs> my other Mimo, she um, always put eggs on my, or <laughs> always put ketchup on my eggs, not eggs on my ketchup. But um, yeah, I've just ate them like that since I was a kid, and I let the kids try them when they were little, and they like it that way as well. So if you like ketchup on your eggs, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Um, and let me know that we're not alone because <laughs> lots of people make fun of us for that. But anyway, that's our breakfast and we're going to go ahead and eat and get started on our schoolwork. I just couldn't leave my yogurt bare. I had to jazz it up with some superfoods. I've got raw honey, hemp hearts, goji berries, bee pollen, and um, some chia seeds on there to boost my energy for the day. <laughs> So we're just showing them our day, how we, how we, like a vlog. yeah, like a day in the life of a homeschooler. The girls are done with their breakfast. Reagan can't clear her plate yet, so I'll clear that for her. But Briley's old enough to clear her own plate, so she cleared her plate, and now she is feeding her pets. Can you help me open this door? Yeah, just a minute. She's feeding the cat right now. I've already fed the dog. Her guinea pig has food, and just to feed her fish. Then she can go brush her teeth because we just ate breakfast and we wait until after breakfast to brush our teeth because that just makes sense. And while she's doing that, I'm going to go make my bed because I didn't make it when I got up. Get myself and Reagan dressed. She's going to get dressed and ready for the day. We'll meet back in the dining room to start our schoolwork. Okay, so everybody is dressed. Beds are made. And um, hair is brushed. Teeth are brushed. So now it is time to start school. So as you can tell, I'm not wearing any makeup. I do have some errands to run today. So once I get them started on their work, I will go put my face on. I don't wear makeup every day. I usually only wear it if I know I have to go somewhere or if I'm doing like a makeup tutorial kind of video. But other than that, I usually don't wear makeup and I don't always change out of my PJs either. If I know I don't have anywhere to go that day or any errands to run and all I'm going to be doing is cleaning, I don't. I don't get dressed. I just wear my PJs. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get the schoolwork going. I'll show you what we decide on today. Congested. <clears throat> um, so I would say our homeschooling style is a lot more laid back this year because last year we were very strict and just went by the book, by the curriculum. This year I didn't even buy a curriculum. I just bought a bunch of books at Goodwill and different stores that I found. And I made my own curriculum, and I'm loving it. I'm hoping she's loving it. I let her choose the work she's going to do the day, that day for the most part. Um, sometimes I'll pick certain things because there's certain things in math that she definitely needs to be learning. But um, as far as the other stuff goes, I pretty much just let her choose what she wants to learn that day. And we've been really loving this more laid-back style. And um, it's not for everybody, but it works for us this year. So you'll see how we do that. Okay, so I forgot to mention, after breakfast is when we start taking our supplements for the day. And I just give the kids a multivitamin. That's really all they get. Every now and then I'll give them... What? I didn't get a vitamin. I know, I'm sure. Um, but it's better to take your vitamins on a full stomach because um, they need like a catalyst or something to carry, <laughs> carry the nutrients to our body, throughout our body. So it's better to give your kids their vitamins after a meal, preferably in the morning or after lunch. And um, yeah, I'm going to give them these. This one's Briley's. This one's Reagan's. Once Briley finishes these, I'm going to get an all-natural one like Reagan's. Um, this is a Zarbi's Naturals. I'll probably get her one like this, but for bigger kids. So 
I'm gonna give them their vitamins and then we're gonna pick our schoolwork. Okay, so this is the first book Briley picked today. She just wanted to do her journal. She got this for Christmas and she was excited to use it. So she's gonna be doing a little journaling in here today and that's how she's gonna get started. I'm gonna get Miss Reagan a sticker book and she will get started on that. bunch of sheets for her touch and learn desk good job so I'm gonna get these going for her and um, we just try to keep it light for her she goes to pre-k two days a week um, for three hours each day so six hours a week which I feel like is plenty for a two-year-old and when she's doing school with us it's more about just keeping her occupied so Briley can focus on what she's doing so we'll do the touch and learn desk, or we'll do coloring, or we'll do sticker books, or Play-Doh, things like that, that she likes to just be doing things, rather than, you know, book work, she's two, I mean, she's a toddler. So we just try to keep it light for her and keep her occupied while we're doing our work. So, go ahead and get this going for her. Okay, so I let her pick, and she picked music, of course, the loudest one, <laughs> but that's okay. As you can see, Mr. Whiskers has joined us. <laughs> he wants to be the center of attention. He's so funny. Yeah, for, for a meal <laughs> on the top. 
top and my ass on the bottom. Alright, come down. Good job, right here. Alright, last time I think we stopped in chapter 32. Deuteronomy. Chapter 32. Chapter 1 of Joshua. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' aide, Moses, my servant is dead. Now then, you and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I'm about to give them. I just straightened it and just did a simple little makeup look and I've got to go to the post office and send some things and then I need to um, pick up maybe pick up some lunch or something I don't know if we're gonna eat at the house or just pick some up so um, but before I do that I'm going to spend a little bit of time in prayer I did already read some Bible with Briley during our homeschool, so I'm going to skip that for now since I have some errands to run. But I am going to go over to my prayer room and spend a little bit of time in prayer before we get going and um, sing some praises from my hymnal to the Lord. So I really wanted to try to do more of that this year, so I'm trying to start off right and not get off track, even though I didn't get started. As soon as I got up this morning, I want to make sure... I'm spending that time in prayer every day. I'm going to go do that, and then we're going to be on our way to the post office. Okay, so I wrote down my prayers, put them on my prayer board, and now I'm just going to get the girls ready and bundled up because it's like freezing outside, literally. So we're going to get them bundled up, get our packages ready to go, and head to the post office. <laughs> All right, we're leaving the post office now. Say hey, girls. Hi. Hey. Reagan already took her shoes off twice now, so we're just gonna go through a drive through I guess. Dunkin' um, Donuts! Yeah, Bradley wants Dunkin' Donuts, I'm gonna get a smoothie. I don't really care for their food, but I don't know what we're gonna get for lunch. What are we getting for lunch? What are we gonna eat? I'm getting a cheeseburger with mustard and ketchup. Where? You can't get one at Dunkin' Donuts. There's not a Burger King on that side of town. Dairy Queen. Not a Dairy Queen on that side of town. There's Wendy's, but it's like on the other. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyway, we're leaving the post office now, so we'll see you guys later. Here we go. Getting our smoothies. Still haven't decided where we're eating. <laughs> they left their drink on the top of their car. Just eating. We got some Hardee's. And Dunkin' Donuts, we're gonna eat our lunch and get back to work. So she chose to do a couple, read a couple pages in this book today. She read about people in countries. She read about Northern African countries and, like and India. Table Mountain and Kariba Dam. And Africa, the biggest city in Africa, and the pyramids, and all of that kind of stuff. And this Kingfisher book. And this is 
Yep. <clears throat> okay, and then she read two pages in this 50 States book um, about natural wonders. And I think this is about New York State, right? Mm, I think, yeah. Now we are working on some math. Okay, so excuse my mess back here, but um, we just finished eating dinner and before dinner or while I was cooking dinner, Miss Reagan and Bradley were playing upstairs and Reagan jumped off the bed onto Bradley's face. So Bradley's face is like swollen so I gave her an ice pack and she's laying down but I typically have her help me unload the dishwasher and load the dishwasher after dinner but um, I'm going to make her do that today since she is hurting. So let's go check on her real quick. You okay? Can I see? Is it okay if I have this on camera? Yeah. How you feel? Whoops. It's not red anymore. That's good. You still have a headache? Just a little bit. Doesn't feel swollen. Maybe just a little bit right here. Feel better? Good. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to get... Are you talking to Nanny? Mm -hmm. Or are you just using the laptop? Um, I'm going to go unload the dishwasher and load it. I'm not going to make you help me tonight since your head hurts. Okay? okay. Love you. Love you. So, back to that. Going to <laughs> do the dishes. And then it's like 6.45 now. So, um, I'm going to load the dishwasher and then it'll be about time to tell Bradley to get a shower and get Reagan a bath. Reagan does have pre-K in the morning, so I need to get her backpack ready and get her clothes out. And she, since we were out of town, she missed their Christmas party and I need to pack the gifts for the teachers and the, and like they drew names in her class. So she has a gift to give someone. I hope, I hate she missed it, but I told them ahead of time. So hopefully they had a gift for the other child, but I'm going to send one just in case they didn't anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm going to send that and get all that together and yeah, then we can, um, get baths and then it'll be, um, time for our bedtime routine. <laughs> run the girls baths and all that and I think I'm just gonna give them a bath together a lot of times Reagan will just take a shower with me because she actually does not like the bathtub she would rather just take a quick shower with me but um, I'm just gonna give them a bath together tonight she'll usually get in the bath more easily if her big sister's in there to play with her I don't know she has this fear of water unless we're at the pool but she's scared of the bathtub I don't know it's weird good job Let me help you Okay, let me cut the water on. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Rub them together. You got dinner all over your face. So we are potty training. This is her little potty chair. It just goes right on the toilet like so. And yeah, she 
it seems to work really well. We got this one off Amazon. I'll link it below. But it's pretty awesome. Okay, so Bradley's bathtub's dirty because I gave the dog a bath in there. And I still need to clean it out. Let's clean the hair out of it. So they're just going to take a bath in my tub tonight. So yeah, real life. Real life right here. <laughs> okay, so I put a drop of this inner piece M Essentials essential oil blend. These are 100% um, pure therapeutic grade essential oils. And I did just order my first order from Young Living Essential Oils. So I'll be selling those pretty soon. I'm really excited about that. But anyway, I brought their soaps in here. These are the As I Am Avocado Shea Conditioner and Aloe Shampoo. No Tears, Organic Aloe. This one's organic avocado oil, shea butter, and coconut oil. Why do you have a window in the middle of your and, bathroom? And these are for curly hair, as I am born curly. Both of my daughters have curly hair. Bradley's is not as curly as it used to be. I did get these on sale at Walmart too. Curl monster. Yep, you were a curl monster. And now you have like little to no curl. It makes me so sad. My like her hair like was curly to the right ends. But look, my we're going to put like some this. detangle up in there tonight. My hair's like this. Yeah, it's my essential oil drawer. I need to reorganize. Also, I'm gonna go play my server with Daddy. It's his server, but I'm not telling you the password. Which server? Daddy. Like the one Minecraft? Yeah. All right, do you want to pick a book? Yeah. Her room's a mess, as usual. <laughs> we still have it unpacked, but. I want this one. I want this one, Mama. Which one? This one. My tiny book of prayer. Okay, get up there in your bed. <laughs> what? Okay, you ready? Yeah. God sent me here so small and new for many things for me to do. I need to sit on lots of laps, give many hugs, take daily naps. I'm here to learn the gospel plan, to read my scriptures when I can. Oh no. But now and always, God will be as near as my own family. He'll be here when I sleep or play. He'll listen every time I pray. At mealtime when I'm in my chair, at bedtime when I kneel in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I... What is it? You got a boo-boo? You okay? Yeah, it's okay. Don't pick your scab, it's gonna bleed. It's me. It's... It's okay. Just leave it alone. I don't need clothes. Don't. You wanna say prayers? Yeah. Now I lay me. You gonna say it? Now I lay me. I pray the Lord. I pray the Lord. May angels watch me. <laughs> it's okay, I'll get it. May angels watch me. May God escape. <laughs> May angels watch me. Tonight. And wake me in. In the best way. Amen. Amen. Good job. So now it's my turn. I'm gonna hop in the shower and get cleaned up and ready for bed myself. And, um, you know, I'm a night owl, not gonna lie. Um, so, okay, so I do have a towel on. Just got out of the shower, been popping some bumps, blackheads. Haven't done my skincare routine yet, I haven't brushed my teeth yet or anything, but I just wanted to lay down on the bed because I'm tired. I'm so tired, and I'm still not done. <laughs> so, I've gotta go do my skincare, brush my teeth, make one lap around the house and pick up any trash or any dishes that have been left out 
get Reagan's school clothes out for tomorrow and get those presents together. Then I'll be able to lay down and go to bed or watch YouTube or edit videos or whatever I want to do. But I think it's like 8.30, 8.45 now, so not doing too bad, not doing too bad. So I just realized, or I just found out that I have to work tomorrow. Um, I do have several like small like side jobs. So I am a stay at home mom and a homeschool mom. But I also, which I've said this several times in other videos, but if you're new here, I do babysit, I'm a makeup artist, and <laughs> um, I also work in the church nursery, and I am now becoming a Young Living Essential Oils Consultant pretty soon, once I get my starter kit, so um, I have like a lot of other forms of income other than YouTube. I don't make much off YouTube at all. And, um, yeah. I just, I have several, I kind of do it all. <laughs> but, I do have to babysit two kids tomorrow. Um, I have three, three or four families that I babysit for. And, um, but it's always like pretty random. There's one family that I babysit for every summer. Um, they have two kids. But, um, throughout the school year, um, you know, just, I have different, a couple different families that I babysit for randomly, and they can call me anytime, and of course, if I'm, if I'm up for it, then I will say yes. So, um, yeah, I just got a message about an hour ago, and, um, that was at about 7, I didn't see it until about 8. So, I do have to work tomorrow, so, um, probably won't get any filming done, probably won't get any cleaning done, but I will, um, make a little bit off babysitting, and, um, yeah, so that is another, <laughs> another little thing that I do. So, I ha I'll have two kids tomorrow, and, um, I'll be having to homeschool with two extra kids tomorrow, so, um, one is a six-month-old, and the other one is... I think he just turned four, so, um, yeah, I'll be babysitting them tomorrow, super exciting, I can't wait to get my hands on the baby, but, um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a long day, because my ears still hurt really bad, I got another ear infection, you guys, like, if you've been watching my channel, you know I had an ear infection for a while, got rid of it, and then once we went on vacation and went snowboarding and all that, I got another ear infection it's so crazy because I haven't had one since I was like a kid so it's just like oh and it just makes your whole head hurt I really should probably go to the doctor but I just don't wanna <laughs> but um yeah I'll probably go Friday because I won't be able to go tomorrow but anyway so I just found that out so day in the life day in the life this is how it goes for me <laughs> so somebody's messaging me over here so let me check that Good morning guys, so it is the next day. I have Miss Fallon with me, say hi Fallon! And Mr. Gannon over here, and Reagan up there. So, for like my last little vlog last night, I started feeling really, really bad. Not like sick, but I had a really bad migraine. And I think it's because I have another ear infection. So, I took some medicine and went to bed. Wasn't feeling great. Just a minute. Um, what's wrong? Let me open it. Okay, just one minute. So, um, I just went to bed. I didn't finish my video. So, I just wanted to um, tell you guys thanks for watching. And, um, yeah, that is a real life day in the life of a homeschool a mom of two, stay at home mom, whatever you want to call it. So, today's a new day. Reagan's school did get canceled today because it is so cold. So I'm kind of glad though, so she can play with Gannon. But um, yeah, so this is gonna be our day today. It's gonna be a whole different day today. So maybe I should do a different, different vlog. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, um, yeah. I'm, it is. I think it's nine almost now. So um, we're gonna make some breakfast and get our day going. So. You love the baby? Yeah. You want mommy to have a baby? Yeah. Yeah. And me. 
baby too. Me too. You want to have a baby too? Oh, we're going to have a baby. Yes, her so tiny. Yes, a baby. Really? Yeah. Thank you so much. We need some cups to make our tea. Can you go find your cups? You're lost. Oh no. I think they're on the counter in the kitchen. You want me to go look? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if we, if we, <laughs> if we don't have the cups, we can't, we, we can't have no coffee. Yeah. Well, we do have plates to eat. You saw the toy eggs? Uh huh, I'll go Hi guys, so I just got back from the doctor. Uh, my ears were not infected, praise the Lord, but they were full of fluid, so they referred me to an ENT or ear, nose, and throat doctor um, just to make sure everything's okay. I'm gonna take some like Zyrtec or something to try to dry it up. Um, but there's no infection, so that's good, but I am having some pain, so they're kind of worried about that, like, the, the fluid can cause pain, though, so, but I just have to get my eustachian tubes to drain, but anyway, um, oh, sorry, so I never did finish this video, so I wanted to show you one more thing that we do with our homeschool, I consider this part of homeschool, I think it is essential, for kids to learn how to cook and how to prepare their food properly, you know, washing their hands, um, not cross-contaminating, all that. So um, every day I do require Miss Briley to help me with either breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Um, I let her choose which one it is, and today she wants to help with lunch. So we are gonna make some little pizzas with just bread, spaghetti sauce, and cheese. <laughs> so easy enough, something quick and easy. Um, for her to do and yeah, I'm gonna show you that so this is our wintertime homeschool routine um, I will say in the summer which I'll do a different one or when it in the spring when it gets warmer You know, we do go to the park. We do go on trips We do go um, outside to play and things like that as well So that wasn't included in this one only because it is freezing outside literally But yeah, we do go outside and do other things other than staying in the house all day so let me show you us making lunch. Miss Brawley is washing her hands. The spaghetti sauce, this is the Simple Truth organic one. Our bread out. I and I gotta get the cheese. We got our mozzarella and cheddar. Ready to go. She did a great job. Okay, so now we're gonna pop them in the oven and eat. On, you gotta make sure it's plugged in for one. Okay, and it's plugged in. And then we're we're not gonna toast it. We're gonna bake it in this little toaster oven. So I turned it on to 300 degrees. Feel the heat. You don't touch it because it's hot, just like the big yeah. oven. But you just put these in there very gently. Try not to spill the cheese all in there because it'll make it. It can make. Yeah. It's just going to the back. Alright, you hold the camera. Cheesy goodness. Mama, I'm good for your arm in. Anyway, 
thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe down below for more videos like this one yeah so thanks again i love you all and jesus loves you too bye